All right. Welcome back. Another episode. Let's go. Follow me on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. Only built for golf links. L-I-N-X. Here we go. All right, people, welcome back. Um, not much golf to talk about this week. At least PGA golf. They had the Zurich, the Zurich Classic, I think it's called, down in New Orleans. It's a team event. I don't know too many people that watch it. I don't watch it. That's I'd rather watch the Ryder Cup or the President's Cup if it's a team event. Shout out TPC, Josh Palana, Jason for looking out. Can't wait to get back there. Speaking of going places and playing places, I've been lucky with that. A few people I've known have taken me places, TPC, Josh Palana being one of them. And uh, last week, I met up with another fellow Instagrammer, Golf Carlitos Way. Cool dude named Carlos hits me up on Instagram. I met him through another Instagram, another golfer. Shout out Joe Golf Jitsu. Follow him. Instagram suggests people you may know. Joe's a friend uh, in common, I guess is the word they uh, they use. Mutual friends. That's what it is. Mutual friends. So, you know, I'm trying to grow my followers. I'm trying to grow my my uh little instagram page i think i followed him he followed me whatever it was he reached out to me a couple of weeks ago we talked a few months ago actually we talked and the warmer's been getting the, the weather's been getting warmer and he shoots me a message about playing one day uh, you know it's one of these things where people always talk about a good game like, oh yeah let's 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 hook up let's play I'll come out to you, you come out to me, whatever, let's play, and nothing ever happens. And um, he finally reached out to me, hey, yo, what's up, man? My invite still stands. It's, uh, you want to come out and play out by me, or we could meet somewhere in the middle. He tells me what he's got going up by him. I'm all right, cool. I like the sound of that. We went. I went up, up to Monroe, New York, about an hour away from me. Hour five, maybe. Never met the guy. But as soon as he pulled him to the lot, I spotted him. And um, we hit it off. We we talked. We hit it off. He explained to me his thing. I, did, I explained to him my thing. Off we went to the range. Hit a couple of balls. Oh, by the way, it's at Mansion Ridge in Monroe, New York. It's a Jack Nicholas course. If you guys are ever up there, ever have a chance to play it, do so. That's a very nice, very nice course. Worth the money, I think, if you ask me. If you look it up, I'll let you look up the reach yourself. Beautiful, beautiful course. Well maintained. Great staff. I believe from what Carlos was telling me, all new management came in. They were, they were renovating the clubhouse. They were upgrading it. Not the, um, <clears throat> a lot of work into it. And he was telling me how new head pro, new general manager, new staff, new rangers, pretty much across the board, everybody's new or promoted from their previous position, drive up to the first tee box. The guys there talking to uh, Carlos, they know each other. And uh, busting his balls, you know, making fun of him. And he hits us off with, uh, I don't know if they did to everybody for that day, for the week, or what it was about, but um, pretty cool uh, little gift at the first tee box for this guy. Uh, the golf club at Mansion Ridge, ball marker, a leather ball marker. Never seen one of these before. This is cool. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to put it back there and uh, show it off. 
Shroom Rewards, Chrome Soft. Uh, sounds like they're a Callaway affiliate. And um, pretty cool. Nice leather ball marker. I don't know how that's gonna come off on the camera, but uh, and a and a divot tool, nothing fancy, but still cool. Nice. Those are nice touch. Those are pretty cool. But uh, I'll show you what I carry in my pocket when I do golf. Show you what I have and what I plan on doing in the future. So yeah, we start off. So like I said, the the range, a couple of shots. No drivers, no woods. I think the irons only. That's what we did. Nine, six, and a couple of wet shots. And that was it. A couple of putts. And on the practice green, they have a a short game area. I saw two bunkers that um you could use. We didn't have enough time. But uh gear up there. Definitely get there early. Get your full money's worth and use up all the practice facility that they have. So we're off T1. We got the ball marker, the David tool. We tee off. Off we went. <laughs> the, the shit show started. Some good shots, some bad shot. I was doing pretty good. We both got sixes on that first hole. First, second, and third holes, nothing fancy. Pretty generic. Fourth holes are part three. Fifth hole. A lot of these holes are, by the way, up there. Mansion Ridge. Tee boxes up top. Fairways down at the bottom. Nice open fairways. Beautiful course, like I said. We're rolling through. Chunking. Hitting good shots. Chunking. We get to the, the back nine. They have something called uh, the Bears Corner. Holes 12 through 16. It's called the Bears Corner back there. Starts off 12 as a part three. A buck 20, if I remember. We both hit the green. I was way left of the hole, so I had a 50, 60, 70 footer to the flag. And he had about 10, 15 feet, maybe a little bit less. I believe we both parred and kept going. 13, I'm not really remembering well. The hole that stood out for me was number 15, par four, nice fairway. A lot of woods to the left. To the right, it was uh, the hole coming back, number 16. But surrounding the green on 15, big rocks. I don't know what you call them, quarry, whatever you call them. I don't know what, what they're called. But they're beautiful, beautiful rocks. Scenic, very picturesque. If you want to take pictures and stuff, that's a good spot to do so, I believe. Little side note on that hole, as when we left the tee box, you see our balls on the fairway. All right, good shot, good shot. Get in the cart, we drive off. Windy road, cart path to the fairway. We get to the fairway. This guy standing off to the side by the woods. Real creepy horror movie shit. Off to the sides and stand there. It looks like he's looking for something. You see a dog? I was like, oh, no. I'm like, to myself, damn, that sucks. No, no dog. And... It was definitely the family was out looking for the dog because out in the, behind him, close close to the house, you hear a lady in the background yelling, calling the dog's name, I believe. Guy goes away. So we finish that hole. We go to 16 tee box. Tee off on 16. And as we get in the cart, so we drive to the fairway, we see him back again on the 15th fairway looking for his dog again. So I don't know if the guy didn't believe me that he didn't see him or it was just the desperation of looking for the dog he got back under the fairway and went towards the green and that was the last hope we found him i know what it's like chasing a dog it sucks especially when they don't listen that was 16th uh, 17th and 18th part five up and down a second blind shot if i'm not mistaken and then the approach into the green was Tight green, surrounded by water. To the left, not surrounded by water, but water to the left. Nice way to end the day. So yeah, so I highly recommend Mansion Ridge. I highly recommend TPC Josh Palana if you could get on it. I got on it because of my friend. So yeah, that was my day. 
Monroe, New York, at a Mansion Ridge with a uh, Carlos at Golf Carlitos Way. Look him up, follow him. Can't wait to do it again. He's gonna come down by me next time though. Uh, and if you're ever up the up by there, uh, look him up, say hello. Um, on the news today, a buddy of mine sent me a a news link about that Saudi golf league putting out their dates and stuff uh, their events it's an invitational only i believe from what i read they're coming to trump budminster in july trump lost the pga championship uh last year should have been this coming may but they moved it somewhere else but now it's he's getting this and instead sucks that the pga championship got moved that would have been a nice local PGA event to go to 20 minutes away if that from Trump Bedminster and Fiddler's Elbow I just don't like dr driving to these places parking socks you either gotta get shuttled to the entrance of the golf course or you gotta walk depending where you park um, I'm not a fan of either of those things hopefully check those guys out they're called LIV L-I-V not sure what it stands for should have looked it up but I did it but uh, a lot of controversy behind this uh, new league. Invitational only. I think it's only three rounds instead of four. Ernie Els is the the big name behind it. Phil Mickelson's the other big name behind it. If he didn't back out of that, because he pretty much burned bridges at the uh, at the PGA, he'll be back. Hopefully, Phil makes it to Benminster in July. Check him out. That'll be the big name. He'll be the the big draw for those guys. And maybe some other up and coming golfers that get the invite and get to play. Check those guys out. See what a live event is compared to a PGA event. And that's it, guys. Uh, I didn't get any stats for you guys for the uh, Zurich Championship, the team event. Those guys went wire to wire. Cantley and Shoffley. Those guys played well together. They've become good friends since the. 2019 President's Cup, they play well together. Just like me and Steve Kraft, we play well together. <laughs> What's up, Steve? Can't wait to see you. Yeah, back to this. What do you have in your pocket when you play? What do you carry? Ball marker, David Tool. This is pretty nice. I'm I'm still impressed. Um, this is what I carry. It's a sticks pick, pick sticks from Skinny Golf. It's a brush for the club head, your irons, divot tool or groove cleaner. And this carries a, their ball marker. I don't use their ball marker, but I like it. It's nice, nice little touch. They have this one. They also have a new version of it. Shout out to another uh, Instagram. Fairways and Greens. Fairways and Greens. Know him through from my cigar days. Shout out Mike. And um, he started his Instagram. And he had a giveaway. Skinny Golf was uh, one of the prizes. And another brand. Don't want to get it wrong. Was a nice little price package. Mm, trying to think of the name. Whatever. I got a hat, tees, but I got this. Out of all those things I, I won, this is the one that's been in the back the longest. Two years now, maybe? Three years now? Since uh, Fred Wilson Greens won that. Oh, I won that uh, giveaway. I love this thing. Uh, check them out. Skinny Golf. If you ever. In the market for a new tool, multi use tool, I guess you call it. Cleans your clubs, cleans your grooves, fixes your divot, and a magnet. Or a ball marker. Put that one down. Nah, not this. This I this is what I use for my ball markers. I got several that I rotate. Sorry. I got several that I rotate that I like. Starting with this uh, 50 cent piece, 50 cents, half dollar. 
1984. Nothing about the year, just just the coin I had. JFK, my favorite president. Did a lot of book reports on him in elementary and junior high. So I learned a lot about him and his family. If you want to read up and get some good stuff, I highly recommend that family. That whole family is whacked out. Another silver dollar or a dollar coin. United States of America, one ounce fine silver, one dollar. The year on this, 2001. Don't know how I got this one, but uh, I use this one once in a while, very rarely. Doesn't come out too much. Uh, 10 pesos, a Mexican coin, 10 pesos, I guess it's probably like two dollars, maybe not even five bucks, maybe. Um, it's a coin, but it's the value is dollars. If if I were to explain it to you guys, like a a five dollar bill, but in a coin, or a ten dollar bill, but in a coin, they have paper uh paper money for bills and coins. The coins are cents and dollars in Mexico, and I got a ten piece. Pretty cool. And my uh. Sean Price, Brownsville. Mm, this came with his uh, last CD that uh, Bootcamp Click sold. Uh, it's a Chinese coin, they, they called it. So you can see, there you go. Sean Price on the mic in the front. And I believe it's the projects, I guess. I don't know. A building in the back. And that's what I use. Those are my markers of choice. This last one I bought when I was following my son at one of his tournaments. And you know me, I'm always looking when I walk into a clubhouse. I don't know who else looks, but I love looking. Shirts, hoodies, hats, anything. Just want to just browse they had this on the counter near the register it's called a pitch fix ball marker magnet ball marker in the middle alignment tool the lady told me here in the back an alignment tool line up your putts the thing that caught my attention was were these numbers one two three four and i asked her what it was and she couldn't tell me but i youtubed it did I YouTube it? I forgot what I, I, may, I might have Googled the website. When you're, ah, fuck. so when you're a foursome, ready to tee off and, oh, who's going up first? And, you know, they toss the tee, you know, four times to see who was first. Okay. It's like spin the bottle, but with a tee. You throw the tee up in the air. Okay. Oh, pointing at you. You're first. Toss it again. Oh, you're next. Oh, I'm third. Okay, you're up. You're last. Spin this or flip it like a coin. I've, I've used it twice. Flip it like a coin. Lands in the middle between all four of you. And everybody gets a number. One, two, three, four. And that's it. So that was cool. Uh, and I bought it. No, I actually didn't buy it right away. I asked. I paid for a cart, I believe, because I was following my son that day. I didn't feel like walking, so I paid for my cart, got on the cart, and walked and rode. And things just stuck in my head. Just, I was like, ah, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. At the turn, at ninth, between ninth and tenth, I run to the bathroom in the club in the pro shop. It's there. Ladies got nobody in the counter, no line. How much is that? She said 12 bucks. I'm like, good, give me one. I bought it. <laughs> it's been in my bag ever since. Probably a, a year now, maybe two. Cherry Valley. Pitch fix. So then, a few, a couple months ago, Skinny Golf themselves, you know, they got this new product. Patented, it says here. Got a number on it. 
same brush as the OG. Oh, a little bit bigger. Probably more coverage. Same rubber material. Oh yeah, by the way, this goes in your pocket with this black rubber piece on it. Doesn't stick you, doesn't bother you. Love this thing. Smaller, this is a groove cleaner, they say. I don't like it, but I think I like this for the divot part, the divot tool part. No bow mark on it, but it's magnetic. Stick it on the, there it is, see? It's on my mic stand. The mic stand's magnetic, and you can stick it on the cart, you can stick it on your golf clubs in your bag if you're walking, riding. Nope, doesn't do the coins. Nope, not this one either. I made Bogey, another brand. A lot of stuff I just buy and don't really use, but looks cool. I think this is, uh, I don't know if it's limited. I think they still have them on their website. I made Bogey. They also made that. This uh, Augusta green jacket coin with the red. Obviously, you know who. They had a black one, I believe. I gave one away. I think it's to Steve I gave it to. Hopefully it was Steve. If not, he'd be upset if it wasn't him. But uh, Steve got me this when he went to Hawaii. This guy's rich. So you ever see him, ask him for some money. Let's see if this one works. There it is. See? So you can stick your own ball marker. You don't have to use the one they send you with. But this one, I don't mind this one. It stays there. See? It's got a little... Little slot, magnetic, boom, fits. But it's their own. Here, you can use your own. Uh, I forget what the contest was. Oh, I think it was just like, share, post to your story kind of thing, and we'll pick two random winners. Guess what? I won again. Those guys like me. But, uh, yeah. So, I want to win a few more things <laughs> and make a little gift pack and my uh, I have a an idea of what I want to do for my first giveaway I don't know when but probably at the end of the year uh, my first giveaway probably like a guess how many golf balls I got in my milk crate in my backyard but uh Probably something like that. See how that goes. But yeah, maybe another uh, another company, some teas or something, or a hat. Maybe a dozen balls. I don't know who else plays super soft. Maybe I'll come up with something. But yeah, this is definitely going to be in the price pack. I'm not going to use it. It hasn't been touched at all since I got it. Uh, maybe. It's been thrown around in the junk drawer. But uh, still, that's going to be the gift pack. This is definitely going to some lucky winner. I like this company. I like this tool. Uh, probably one of the only things I've purchased or won and I still use. It's been my bag for a good two years now, if not more. Maybe three. But, uh, yeah. That's it for today, guys. This little what's in my pocket edition episode. See you guys soon.